Hey guys, this is Kozox. Little uh, tips and strategies that I've come up with uh, through my my time of playing a hunter. Um, this is primarily for marksman hunters. Um, it's what I've played my entire time. Um, I love it. I'm not putting any class or any other um, specs down. Just saying, marksman is what I played when I know what I feel most comfortable with. Um, the tips and strategies I'm going to show you in this movie are not the only ways to do them. I know I'm probably going to make some mistakes. Uh, but just bear with me, and I'll try to walk through the best I can, show you some little little points, pointers, and tips there. One of the first things I want to do is tell you, always keep True Shot Aura and uh, Aspect of the Viper up. Both of them are absolutely wonderful, and will help you out. The little attack power and the mana region is, is a must for any hunter. First thing we're going to do here is I also want to show you how horrible hunters are at DPS. If you want a DPS class, roll a rogue, or some other, <laughs> not a hunter. We can't do it. Um, so we're going to sit here and well away at him. I'm just using some abilities. I am trying my best to do as much damage as quickly as possible to him to make this as relevant as possible. Alright, there we go. Bring him down. Uh, that total fight, we're looking at a DPS of about 350. Uh, not great, folks. It's pretty bad. Um, now we're going to go find one that we can do ranged. Um, with ranged, you want to turn on growl. Um, and send your pet in first. My pet has dash, so we can reach the target a little bit quicker. I'm going to start up with an aim shot here. And we're going to hope for a big crit. I like big crits. No, no big crit. So we're looking at smaller shots here, but we still bring them down pretty quickly. There we go. Not too shabby. Now, the DPS of that one ended up being at about uh, 763. So uh, quite the bit of a, a boost for not having too many crits or that high of uh, damage in shots. This next one I'm going to show you is the kiting ability of a hunter. It's one of the most beloved and annoyed, <laughs> annoying abilities we have. I'm looking behind me to make sure that the way is clear for my kiting path. Chose it, make sure there's no enemies on it. I start off with a concussive shot to have it on slowdown or on cooldown. Um, I'll be kiting him by holding down the left and right mount, left and right mouse buttons, and running. I will jump up in the air by pressing space bar, turn around midair, press one of my buttons, um, either. Arcane shot or serpent sting or another concussive shot to keep him busy. You can also use um, scatter shot if you're a marksman to buy yourself a few extra seconds of just getting away as if he gets too close to us. Always try to keep um, serpent sting up and going. Yeah, there's no point in not having it unless you're looking to maybe freeze him later on. If you're looking for long ones, then, then keep going fights. This next one I'm going to show you now is a uh, chain freezing. We're going to practice here on this talbuck. Now I'm going to lay down a freeze trap. I have a little add-on that'll show me how long I have second-wise until the trap is ready to go again, and how long until that trap will disappear. Now we want to sit here and wait. I like to put down a freeze trap and hope the tank, if it's pretending I'm in an instance, um, doesn't do a pull until my trap is at least 15% done. Ideally, I only want to have 15% to go before I can lay down another one, just in case we have a resist or something like that. Now notice when he's, when I do decide to pull him, I deselect my target so I don't continuously shoot and accidentally break my own freeze trap, which I have done and I'm sure we all have. Now you want to lay down another freeze trap as soon as it's ready. And a little side note for you, remember that when you put down a freeze trap, make sure it's not next to a healer, because while they are in that freeze trap, the aggro will be building up with them, and when they break out of that freeze trap, they will go straight to the healer, and then you get blamed. And it's never fun. So anyways, we're going to sit here and wait, and I'm standing on the other side so the aggro pulls him straight to me, right into that freeze trap. This is beautiful. Now, another ability we have is, is the scatter shot I was talking about earlier. Now, assuming that the freeze trap is going to break before you could lay down another one, scatter shot him. Buy yourself three seconds of time. Uh, maybe back away a little bit after that scatter shot to make him come to you to buy yourself even more time, and then lay the freeze trap as soon as you can. It's pretty simple. Now we're going to go ahead and just kill him. There we go. Nice little crit. And that's pretty much chain freezing for you. This next one we're going to do is a line of sight pull. It's a imperative in a lot of instances with casters or ranged uh, critters that are going to want to shoot you. So the way we achieve this is one, we find a wall. In this case, we're going to use the building. Um, the, the ogre to the left is what I'm going to use. I'm going to lay down a freeze trap here. And plop it down. We're going to go ahead and take the shot. And walk behind the wall. And now he's going to have to come at us because he can't shoot us and we're going to step back. That's all there is to a line of sight pool. Now freeze trapping is one of the most important abilities hunters have. Uh, crowd controlling, that's why we're loved in instances. Um, Karazhan and the like. Beautiful. 
Love it. And there we go with a little scatter shot by myself some time. Back up. Just kind of toying with him now. But just learn to play the class. Okay, here we go with a feign death while he's trying to cast. This is something a lot of hunters don't realize. Use that. It will interrupt the casting sequence of NPCs or PvP. Use it. <laughs> and use it a lot. May just hate it. Here I'm going to pull aggro off of my pet just to, to show the fact. Not really anything big. We all know it. But just feign death. No, point, no harm in it. Let your pet regain aggro. Uh, there's no harm in pain. I mean, there's no... Why would you want to pay repair bills when you don't have to? Here's another um, poofaw that happens a lot with hunters. We we can back up into a mob. I'm just going to pull two here to show it. So you're going to want to freeze one, keep him frozen or CC'd, uh, crowd controlled. Send your pet in on the other and burn him down. Since I'm high DPS um, and much higher level than these guys, they're only about 66, 67. Um, I can burn him down quickly. But you're going to try to lay down, keep the freeze trap frozen during, through the duration of the fight here. Not going to show it because there's no point in it. So we'll move on to the next one here. It's where I decided to have just a little bit of fun. We're going to do some two man pulls, etc. Just playing around more than anything else. There we go. Nice little kill. There's a pull coming up here. That I uh, I put this part of the video in just to show because I think it's pretty uh, pretty informative. I uh, I didn't find this out until well into my higher levels about doing. So we're going to do a pull here. We get three people with a multi-shot. Pull them up, get them a little bit ticked off at me. I'm going to lay down an AoE fire trap. When I do that, I'm going to feign death. Now, I have no aggro. My pet has all the aggro. He's going to sit there and hold all three of them. I can step back, and I can do my ranged DPS and kill him as quick as possible. I hope you guys kind of enjoyed these. Um, it's fun to make. I hope uh, I didn't tick anybody off. And I'm sure I'm going to get some flamers, but <laughs> sorry. Have a good one, guys.